Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Cullen, editor of Total Fly Fisher magazine and today we're going to go ahead and tie the suspender buzzer. Again, this is in the Deadly Killer series that's in the magazine. It's a very simple fly to tie uh, as long as you get your proportions right. I've got a small 1214, whatever you fancy, B400 hook in the vise, a little bit of dubbing, some gold holographic tinsel from a rib and some ethafoam. That'll be for the suspender bit. So let's go ahead and tie the fly. I'm going to start by running a bit of tying thread onto the hook shank, right down to a point opposite the barb, and snip them off there. I'm going to take my thread back up to the thorax area, but what I'll do is I'll take it behind the eye, there's a reason for that. I'm now going to go ahead and half this, so that I've got a half moon shape. So that's the booby cord split in a half moon shape. Now what we're going to do is tie it in so the curved side is facing into the hook shank. Nice tight thread wraps and bed that ethafoam down. A nice tight thread barb, you'll get it locked in. And we're going to put dubbing over that, so don't worry too much. Right up to behind the eye. Make sure it's square, everything's straight. That's good to come back and obviously firm the ethafoam head. A few more thread wraps to bed in the ethafoam. Right back down to the end of the dressing. And about here I'm going to catch in my gold tinsel for the rib. This stuff's a bit thin and fiddly. Just take your time. Catch it in. Looking thread wraps. And now what we're going to do is take some dubbing. In this case some orange dubbing. Bright orange. Or fire orange. Create a dubbing rope. Quite tight, not too loose. Want the fibres to knit together well. Well, and often. And what we're going to do is nice tight wraps. Work up the body. Each one touching the last. Over the ethafoam. Get nice and covered up. A little bit more. And bring that back down. A little bit tighter. And bring it back down to the start of the thorax area. Where you're going to wind the rib to. About here. A little bit more bulbous. Now, in the opposite direction to which we turn the dubbing, we're going to take the ribbon material. Quite loose. Catch off a couple of thread wraps. Fiddly stuff, like I said. There we are. As you can see, it's quite a hairy little fly, and we'll pick some of these hairs out later. This thorax area here, pull the ethophone back so you've got a nice shape to the fly and quite loose thread turns. If you pull that too tight there, it'll actually cut the ethophone. It's so quite loose. Snip the foam as tight as you can get in there. And what we're going to do finally is just take a little bit more dubbing cover over that. And then what we'll do is quick figure eight. 
Oh, I'll figure eight, sorry. I'll look finish in two. Just do a lip finish. Nice and loose, not too tight. You can add a drop of varnish to that. And that's basically the suspender, but what we're going to do is, because you've got a lot of seals firm thing there, a little bit of tying thread, we'll just stroke these fibres to cover the tying thread. stroked it a bit too much, you can trim some off, so you've got a nice profile, a nice shape. Here you have it, the suspender buzzer. At this time of year, July and August, it can be absolutely fantastic for surface feeding fish. Fish it over and above the weed beds and you shouldn't go far wrong. Get out there and try it people, it's a very simple fly to tie, very easy to fish. I'll see you again soon in Deadly Killers, folks. Bye-bye.